All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I've been doing a little experimenting with my uh, oscilloscope that arrived yesterday. And uh, four years ago, I bought all these crystals off of eBay. <laughs> uh, anyway, I bought, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, I bought them and uh, they're 3.2 megahertz, which is actually a good um, frequency for clocks just because with uh, binary division, you can get down and determine um, when one second passes with uh, one hertz. You just keep uh, dividing by two, I think 15 times or something like that. Um, but anyway, I, uh, if, if sometimes you don't see what's pr printed on these. Teddy, we're gonna go for a walk in a little bit. Um, but I can see this, so I, I actually have a number to compare against. So I guess I could actually check the, the accuracy of this as well. And the way you do it is you get yourself a signal generator and you also get yourself an oscilloscope. I have two probes set up. I only need one really, but the second probe is just to uh, confirm uh, what's coming through without, without the testing. So right now I have my signal generator set up to 3.2 megahertz. It's actually, a, I have a little bit more accuracy there that, um, let me, let me adjust the frequency. And I can just bring that down because I can show you what I've been, what I've been doing and how I got to that frequency. Um, and this has changed, so I'll just do the auto detection thing. Um, but the whole thing of what you're what you're going to do to set this up is you can see I have a yellow probe and a blue probe, and I have all of my grounds connected here. Now the yellow probe is on its own on the side, and um, this red alligator clip comes from the signal generator and then here's my blue probe so the blue probe is going directly to the signal generator but the yellow probe is going through the crystal to get to the um that red alligator clip so uh that gives me two different values to compare against and right now i'm throwing a signal uh sine wave through Oh, come on, Teddy. We're, just give me a minute. And you can see they pretty much look like they match up. Uh, this is actually a total of 10 volts that, well, they're 5 volts each, but the display is 10 volts high. So uh, what happens is when you get closer to the actual uh, frequency that you're passing through your signal generator or coming from the signal generator that you're passing through the crystal, uh, an interesting effect happens where the voltage actually increases. And I'll show you uh, right now. Let's go to the uh, the frequency. We're already on the frequency up, but I can change. Um, I think it was. Was it the hertz? 100 hertz place. See how it just went up? And now that goes down. I'm uh, I'm increasing it by 100 hertz now. And now I'm going to decrease it and do that again. So the yellow wave is what's important here. As long as that wave goes up, now see it just went down. But but see, okay, so I'm at zero or 100 hertz. I'm going to add 100. Now I'm going to add 100 more. Notice it just went back down. So that gives me the idea of oh well I can get a little bit more precision. So, so I'm going to go back to uh, where it was the highest, and that's where I got the ones place there, or, or the one in the hundreds place there. And I'm going to change my frequency. So I'm going to be modifying the tens place. Well, this is kind of out of out of view, so I'm going to have to I'm just going to cheat here and just automatically sync it back up to get on the screen. Come on, there we go. So it looks like we didn't do anything. All right, I'm gonna modify the tens place. So I'm gonna increase by 10 kilohertz. 
or no, just 10 hertz. It went up, it went up. It's hard to tell there. You can see at the bottom, the frequency is changing as I do this, but the top is not. So it's like, you gotta, you gotta figure out exactly where, where the height is. Right there, okay. So now I'm gonna go to the ones place <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to detect it. Yeah, it's it's not showing up. All right. So one of the things you'll notice, let me uh, let me do the auto again. And just see if it'll uh, resync itself up. Okay, there we go. You'll notice at the bottom, see the yellow frequency, 3.8. 18 megahertz, 3.2. So oscilloscope keeps going back and forth. It, it can't get the accuracy with how many, with, with what's going on. It can get pretty close with what it's reading out. Uh, I'm not sure if just because this is a low end entry model oscilloscope, um, but out here, this guy is saying he's putting out a specific waveform and we do see how it gets um, affected. So yeah, that's the fun part with uh, crystals, and that's how you actually um, measure what their frequency is, is um, whatever the peak is of the voltage when you send your signal through it, uh, that's, that's pretty much what the frequency is of that crystal. So uh, yeah, fun stuff.